Hey guys, this is Philsbury Dolbor again, and I'm playing uh, Imperium on uh, addictinggames.com. And I'm not going to put any music because the game has built in music and it won't sound right. It's a strategy game. A lot, not a lot of people like it because of that fact. But it's really fun. You get to battle, expand your colony, and I've never beaten a game in one trial without having multiple failures. And I don't really want to try that right now because it would take too long, and I don't have a 15-minute permit on my video YouTube account. We just load. There it is. Imperium, play for victory. Let's do some new game. I'm gonna go with the mountains. It says higher girt. I'm gonna do easy steps. A level. Easy level, whatever. I don't need this. I know what to do. And you can only build certain stuff next to the river. Like, uh, the farm needs to be next to water. So, I'm guessing the food can grow and stuff. Let me bring it over there. And it sort of like builds it instantly. Yeah, I don't know. What? Nine. Oh, okay. I need workers. Okay. You have to put this over here. Put it out of the way. Make sure it's not taking up any space that you actually need for resources. See, there's the house. I got 50 workers. I'm gonna go ahead and put a farm. Next to water since I got workers now. And you can upgrade them, but you should wait until you get high food and a good amount of income. And to get more money, you export and import stuff. I don't need sword to like smithy. And there's different regions you can go to in each level and things take care of themselves and they give you warnings when you're like getting attacked or stuff like that that's a different scene so let me there we go and you see these mountains right here that's where you have to put like uh the not the, uh, not the blacksmiths, the iron people, the iron miners. I think they're right here. Yeah. And to build more trees, you have to use this log ha carpenter house and place it literally right next to the trees. Or it won't even do nothing. Could have been done it. 
Excuse me. I don't need a damn iron mine. I'm gonna start producing weapons for my soldiers. And then start forming the soldiers. Look, if you just click on it, it show these little people. And you upgrade it. And it gets a little bigger. I'm gonna put some. I need some more houses. Put this one. I mean, already bankrupt. We can do, if you don't have enough money, you can go to the actions, export, and since I have so much food, just click on the lowest amount every time, and you usually get a couple thousand. See? much money I have now. And uh, you have to build something that's going to bring in income without having to export all your food. And this will do just fine. The market. And you might want to start preparing your soldiers a little bit early just in case you st uh, get an uh, attack and start producing a minimum amount of weapons so you have enough for at least a couple of soldiers not like overbearing everything so you have leftover which you're gonna need and I'll show you how to battle when it, that point comes on okay now I can upgrade some stuff I need some swordsmiths so I need to add more iron Yeah, excuse me, I'm sick. Stayed home for the past two days. Uh oh, shit. Out of workers. I gotta upgrade this. I like how they're just like sitting in a pool, not doing jack shit. They're just like floating in there. Not really even floating, just standing in the same clothes. It's kind of retarded, if you ask me. All jokes aside, all jokes aside, we need to start adding some iron. The sword making. If it lets me click on it. Come on, guys. The wine Imperium's taking forever. Okay. And to maximize your space, what I would do is like upgrade it as much as much as you can before you start putting new areas in, taking up more space. And when you usually upgrade it, it adds like one sword per day or one bow port per day. Ugh. Okay. okay, the iron and all that's good. I'm gonna go fix some. I'm gonna go add some. God damn it. I'm gonna upgrade some of my buildings. Like the, I need to upgrade this farmer's market. Hey, here's a really good tip: more people, more soldiers. Okay, I need to upgrade this house.
and once you like take over another region they have usually more options like gold mining, steel forging and stuff. It's really fun. And the battle scenes are pretty cool. I have enough food to sell off a little bit. Let's see. I think 25 would do, don't you think? This music's not that bad, right? I think it's right here. Okay, apparently you can only upgrade it once. I don't know why. I usually upgrade my arrow places a lot more than that. My iron's down. I need to add an iron mine. Every day it's gonna go down because I'm making swords. Every day it's gonna go down. Got a simple click and upgrade. You get five. You get ten more iron a day. Do y'all know where I put my? I can't seem to find my Aerosmith. Okay. Ironically, no relation. Right here, there they are, them bastards. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade them. And I gotta go upgrade my soldiers. Make sure you save some space for housing. Okay, that much. Learn that the hard way. What? Whoop. What happened? Ah, oh, okay, I need some workers. See, this happened to me again. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, like I said, you can only upgrade it once. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here so I can use the other side where the trees are for some wood. Upgrade that bitch. Okay, there we go. Two story building. Foods up. I think I'll upgrade some of the food markets. And once you like, look, see, they have like once you start getting to different countries, you can like fish for pearls and stuff. It's really fun. I've gotten to that part, but you know what? I might as well take y'all there. Take over a couple of countries while I have y'all on here. I got nothing else to do. I'm uploading this video like three in the morning. another swordsmith it's not it's taking too long for just a couple of swords to be reduced it's taking too damn long it's all right it's nice you got to be useful the manufacturing of some swords Now let me do it. Come on, addiction games. 
Y'all should be able to load this. Should be able to click right there. There we go. <laughs> While I'm doing that, I should add another damn Aerosmith. Again, no relation. If you get the joke, if not, ignore it. If you do, leave a comment. See, they already took over another country. The Zargius soldiers have attacked Karnak from Argyll and success to occupy Karnak City. Well, they happy doodly do to them. Pip pip the doodly do. I don't give a damn. Well, if this damn thing would move, I could. Okay, I don't need to know that. I got enough soldiers or something. Okay. If I could get like another barrack of soldiers, I'd have a lot more usage for the weapons. As, as long as that number stays above the soldiers, I mean below it, I'm not gonna have enough weapons for 98 soldiers. A good thing to do before you go to war is make sure you have enough money. The exploits and stuff. Well, if I, you have an abundance of one item, and if it's like almost in the ten thousands, sell it off, guys. Just sell it off. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all how to go into battle. You just click on the actions list, go to war, and it gives you a map. And apparently this land is called Dogland Map. Okay, I get it, welcome to the Vision Map. You, you should take over a country uh, yeah, a country that has a, like this one right here in the corner. It has a lot of mountain ranges. The more mountain ranges, the more uh resources. Okay, this is what I usually do to win wars. Like type ten. No, not a hundred. Ten. That sucks because you gotta do this over and over again to reach five and then switch to arrows. See, it's gonna fill in so. My brows are so slow because I'm doing this, I'm recording this page right now. Let me switch to a damn bow, there we go. Oh, not that. Come on. to war put your comments in in the comment box now to see how this war is going to turn out vote yes if you think I won or no that you think I'm gonna lose this is what I usually do I place all of their all their sword people in the front, 
and the uh, AO, bow and arrow people in the back. It's a lot easier to use. Pretty damn good. Oh, okay. Look, see, we got gold. Stop mining for some gold, guys. As you know, that you don't have to have a food market to have. Oh, shit. Yeah. Gotta have workers to start something. Right? Right. Don't you gotta have some stuff to start something? And what you can do, since some of these countries have better resources, you can add... Uh, excuse me. You can send some of the better stuff over there to the countries that don't really have shit. gold mine. Put this one out in the field. So, oh yeah, see this country can't produce food for some reason. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. And I could have carpenter houses, cow farm, to go back to your other countries just click map and go to here since this is the beginning country it is doing very very well and to send some resources over there to help that country out all you gotta do is click actions move resources and click what you want and the destination area whatever what other destination do i have it's the only country i have it needs food, yeah. Need some food. So weapons. There's some soldiers. Hey, what the hell? I just send it a little bit of dinero. The country needs it. What do I care? I got this country is doing better than any than any of the other countries I own. We use only one. Oh fuck! My knee just popped. God. 
Excuse my language, Stunzel. Ass! That bastard hurt. Oh, okay, this is how I get my food. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Don't call me fat ass for some food. And this building is called the Super Soldiers Building. Epic people. Epic people. They would rip. What? Uh, I don't have enough iron. That's what I should have sent over here. So they have iron. I just import some. Oh, come on. Here. $2,000 I lost. That's not so bad. What I'm doing now? Might as well put a damn iron mine. And steel mine. Steel can be very handy when you need it. Or when you're low on cash. put my horseshoes out here. Uh, I have to go back over to this country and send some more weapons because we don't have jack shit. take over one after this runs a little bit to get like the super soldiers in the, uh, the damn horses in that's when I'll get back with part two of this video after I send this off I'm gonna send this off I'm gonna end the video and restart it at a later time It needs iron, yeah, that's, it needs a lot of iron. Swords, arrows, and some soldiers. Just in case to defend it. And send the goods over there. Let's check on how it's doing. I think it's running low on people. That's what message. That's the message I just got. As soon as I left, God. See, negative four. How can you have negative four people in a country unless I don't know? Just mix. This is what your damn head. Okay. I know. I know. I know. I know. Just tip build as many houses as you can for soldiers. What the hell do you think I'm doing? Okay, I gotta add uh, uh iron. I know I'm running low on iron. And let's see how these damn super soldiers are doing. I have one super soldier. After all that, one super soldier. One super soldier per day. That's great. Upgraded to two super soldiers a day. Suck it. Since I got all this empty space. Oh yeah, you can have witches. 
wizards and stuff in this game. That's pretty cool. Okay. I got a good income. Good amount of iron. Everything just went up a little bit. I think I'll build another house. It seems to be running out of people already. And these super soldiers are basically unstoppable. If you have just the right amount with the right weapons, they would take anything up the. They, they, I don't know. They'd take over any country. I just lost the right train of thought. What? What the hell? Dog. No, God damn it. Gotta build another house. Okay, my gold decreased too, but since it creates 200 a day, and I have two, I have 400, there'll be 400 dollars extra income for everything else I earn. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, I'm gonna start the next video, uh... I don't know, maybe tomorrow for first of the battles and I'll show you everything else. Peace out. Follow me on Twitter as t uh, Trollmaster. Friend me on Facebook as Ted, Ted Bear. Subscribe, like, no trolling. Bye.